Hey, how you doing? It's Jerry with Whatever Camera here at NAB 2013. I got Stuart from Black Magic Design. Now, guys, you just announced this brand new pocket camera. Are we actually going to get it in our hands soon? Well, the delivery date on this is July, so the expectation is that we're going to get obviously as many orders as we can, many as much feedback as we can, and then the hope is that we can get this out into people's hands by summertime. Now, you did um, have the first release last year of the BMCC camera, and it, you've had some glitches getting it out to people. You know, what are you going to do with this one? What guarantees do we have if I give the deposit that I'm actually going to get the camera? Sure. I think I think the first thing to mention on the other camera is that, you know, it was our first, uh, our first attempt at producing a cinema camera. Um, we actually started to ship the camera when we said we were going to ship it, but then we ran into a, sen a sensor issue, um, and we were getting problems in getting the sensors in from, um, you know, from our sensor supplier. Um, we've rectified that now, and we're now starting to ship these in some quantity. Um, we were as frustrated as everybody else, um, and you know what we wanted to do is we didn't want to let anybody down. You know our, our 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 kind of philosophy has always been empower people, give people a great product, you know give people a chance to go out and shoot great movies. Um, but you see, obviously with this, what we what we want to try and do is ensure that you know we we cover as many bases as possible. And I suppose the the main difference with this is it's a different sensor from a different sensor manufacturer. It's a Super 16 uh, sensor. Um, our other larger camera we announced is a Super 35 mil sensor. Um, so again, that's from a different sensor manufacturer. So we've covered as many bases as we possibly can, but you know everybody knows there's always freak nature, freak of nature, and things can happen. But you know we're we're as committed, and certainly what we don't want to do is get a replication of of maybe what happened last year. Now, why did you guys get into the camera making business? You guys were doing a great job making drives and other things. You know what made you go in that direction? Well, I think, I think for us, one of the main differences is that we approach this from a completely different angle. Um, we've always had a very, a very prominent stance in the post-production market. And um, you know, with the acquisition of DaVinci Resolve, what happened was is that we were looking at different, um, different footage, different codecs every day of the week. Um, and what that basically meant for us was that we were able to see where the positives and negatives were on various different file formats and camera formats. Um, and we decided that, well, why don't we start to make a camera with the end in mind? You know, let's let's make something which is very open, very flexible, gives us a great opportunity to be able to shoot in many different file formats. But ultimately, what it was is to create great cinematic images. And to do that, what you need to do is have that wide dynamic range. Um, so really, a lot of the ideology started at the end and works forward, rather than start at the beginning and works at the end. Okay, now tell us really quickly about the new 4K camera. We're really excited about that one. It's 4K for 4K, right? It is. So it's uh, $3,995. Um, it's 12 stops of dynamic range. Um, it's got a global shutter, which is obviously something which a lot of people are, are really pleased about. Um, it's also, with it having a super 35mm um, sensor, it means that you've got, a, uh, got a, a vastly reduced crop factor. So you're we're talking around about sort of 1.3, 1.4 for the crop factor, um, which means you can use those nice wide angle lenses. Um, but also what's nice about that as well is that it's got a 6 gig SDI output on there, so you can actually um, output um, uh, sorry, uh, Ultra HD directly from the camera. Um, it records in a couple of different formats. It'll record in um, ProRes 4K. It'll also record in a, a visually lossless Cinema DNG as well. Now, if uh, let's say I bought the first version of the BMCC and I still haven't gotten it or I wanted to exchange it, are you going to do any kind of exchange program or anything for those people that have been in line for a while? Yeah, it's a common question that people have been asking us, and I think that what we're sort of saying to a lot of people is that, you know, don't make a drastic decision right now. Um, I mean, for us, we're saying a July delivery date on both the cameras. Um, a lot of people may have had back orders now for a few months. Um, and obviously what we want to do is we want to ramp up the, the release of the camera which we initially um, initially announced last year. And we're starting to see thousands of those going out the door now. Um, and you know, you may only be a certain amount of time away from getting your hands on that initial camera. The question you have to ask yourself is, what's fit for purpose? What is it you actually need? Um, because I think, you know, don't make a decision based upon getting something quicker than something else. Make a decision based upon what your actual requirement is and what you actually want to do. It might be that you want to shoot 4K, it might be you want to shoot 2.5K, it might be that you just want to shoot HD. Um, so really, the decision has to be about usage first.